intro now so we talk about the again about a very german topic uh the reminder fees in folio and uh yeah i'll start with a small wrap up what we did in puppy so uh, we all already presented all the puppy features uh some weeks or months ago so and poppy all the basic things about the reminder fees are established like um the rules how to how to uh create the reminders and the layouts and the overview find policy and so on so you should all already know this but uh yeah we continued working on the reminder fees for Crisnelia because not everything that is required for a productive um, environment uh, is in Poppy. So we aim for Quisnelia to establish all the things that um, are needed for the productive environment, which is uh, files for printed reminders. So some of our libraries are still required to send out snail mails to the to the patrons. Um, we did some things about the policy fine tuning. Um, so there are two options in the overdue, overdue fine policy, um, create on close days and allow renewals of reminded items. So I will show the examples a little bit, yeah, a little bit later. And last but not least, we had to deal with uh, the reminder rescheduling after the due date changes and all the processes that can change the due date of a loan, like the renewal, the manual due date change and, and the recall. So one of the new features in Quesnelia is uh, the printed reminders. Um, there's a new module that we use called Mod Batch Print. Uh, the module has been approved by PC and TC, and it places output files in the app users. So as you can see in the screenshot here on the slides, there's a new menu entry called View Pattern Notice Print Jobs. And there you get a daily file with all the reminders uh, that have been created. And we have also created permission sets um, to view and delete the reminder files. So there might be some librarians who only have to have the permission to view the things and others who then after some time decide, okay, now we should uh, delete some of the old reminders because they have been sent out. Then you can also assign the permission to delete these files to them. Um, I can later show you also a live demo from the Dev2 environment uh, that we have with index data. And, um, but I'll continue in the slides first. So if you click on this link, then you will see a small list of all these files. And if you click on it, there's a PDF that you can download and then send to your local printer. So that's about the, um, the print reminder files. And the other thing we have to, we had to take care of was, um, the reminders and close days and, um, the reminders are scheduled on checkout. So this is a bit new compared to our old legacy systems. So um, there's a date that is calculated in the checkout when the first reminder, for example, has to be in, when the first reminder is due. And if this due date is met, um, the reminder will be sent out to the patron. And we decided that the reminders will, so if there is a close day uh, for this, uh, for a given service point, then no reminders will be sent out, even if they are due, um, which gives us the possibility to stop the reminder process in certain events. For example, if you have problems in your discovery layer, uh, then you can also add a close day on short notice to the calendar. And then the next day, no reminders will be sent out because you don't want, for example, trouble with your patrons because they weren't able to renew their items. Then you can uh, prevent uh, the reminder run from happening 
or the the send out or the reminders you can prevent it uh, by adding such a close day on short notice but also if you have close days um, set for the future they will also be taken into account of course So then we have some policy fine tuning options uh, and now it gets a little bit complicated, but uh, yeah, there's a policy option called create on close days. Uh, it can be set to yes or to no. And if you set it to yes, it means in effect that the reminder will set, will be sent out as soon as possible. Um, for example, if you have uh, a short loan like one day and you use a loan policy that sets uh, the due date for the loan on this close day and you want to send out the reminder the next day the library is open so let's say the loan is created today on monday tuesday is a close day and if your loan policy sets the due date to tuesday to the close day and you want to send out the reminder on Wednesday, then you have to set it to yes. If you set it to no, it will be sent out on Thursday. So the user gets like a bonus day. But it will only be valid in certain scenarios. Um, and if you want to have more information, you can ask uh, us at the Odin team about it. Yeah, but this is already working. And then we have another policy option uh, that we addressed in the in the project called um, allow renewals of reminded items. And uh, the default behavior is that um, items can be renewed. And if you set it to yes, this still applies also to reminded items. And if you set it to no, it means if you have an item with a reminder, you cannot renew it. So that's um, the current status quo of our legacy systems. And there are libraries out there who want to have it this way or the other way. So we made it optional so that you can choose uh, which fits best to your um, to your tradition, let's say. Uh, here is an example also from Dev2, the environment that we have with index data and yeah. Here, I think Nina made this screenshot and she tried to um, renew this item and yeah, it's not possible because this one already has a reminder on it and then you cannot renew it. And last but not least, we had to deal with reminder rescheduling. So like, uh, in the beginning, in, like I said in the beginning, the reminders are scheduled uh, on checkout. Um, so we have to take into account all the all the processes that change the due date of a given loan. And if this due date is changed somehow, then we also have to rescheduling the first reminder. Uh, and these processes are renewal, manual, due date change, and the recall. And for this, I cannot show you anything live in the system. So this is our test table that we applied for checking if everything works as expected. And as you can see, for example, here item one is the control item, which means it's just uh, nothing happens. So the due date is the same as on checkout and this item gets the first reminder on day four after checkout. And then you can make a manual due date change and change the due date one day uh, earlier. So to day two in this, in this matrix, and the first reminder will be sent out on day three. And you can change the due date to a, to a later date or also to a date in the past. So if you change it to a date in the past, then the reminder will be sent out at the next possibility, as well as recall and renewal. So they also work uh, the same way. They somehow change the due date and then um, the rescheduling for the reminder will happen. And the first reminder is then sent to the new, to the new date. 
Yeah, and that's it for the reminder fees. Uh, so here are the links to the Odin team and the Odin board. Um, we work with Hebes Verbundzentrale, UB Gießen, so this is where I'm, I'm coming from, and UB Kassel, and Index Data did the development. Um, yeah, and what I can now, I can show you in the demo system is, wait a minute here. So this is the Dev2 environment that we have at Index Data. And here is the users app. And like shown on the screenshot here is this menu view pattern notice print jobs as PDF. And yeah, then this table here will pop up and there you can click on it and there you have so this is just one reminder here in this thing. Yes, also one. I'm sorry, I have had to prepare a little bit better. So there's also one. <laughs> but yeah, I hope there is some example as also just one. Uh, I'm sorry, but yeah, we tested it. And if you have several reminders on the same day, they are uh, compiled in a single file. And if you make the checkbox here and you click on actions, then you can also delete these uh, printed reminders. Yes, that's February it. 16, February 16, I think is uh, several. Uh, several, notices. okay, then I'll, yeah. I'll start sharing again. And we have to cut everything in between out of the session. No, Let, which one is it? 15th? February 16. 16 here. Okay, there we have two minus. Okay, yeah. So you can see they are compiled in one file. Florian, we have one question in chat. Tom asks where the templates were now held for the, these reminders. Uh, the templates are in the patron notice templates. So, like all the other templates. Um, maybe you could can share how we did this uh, with the accordion where yeah. it is um, uh, print only. Yeah. So here is, for example, uh, the template for the first reminder. And there's also accordion, which has this checkbox print only because a print reminder requires other um, other fields on the on the layout than an email. For example, you need the address on the printed reminder so that snail mail can really deliver the thing to the patron. And if you make this checkbox here, then you know it's a print a print um, layout. But the rest is, uh, yeah, the it's normal a... the normal layout thing. Uh, if you click, you can actually do it now, print only. Then it will yeah. suppress the subject. Because in a mail, you don't want a subject heading yeah. and you don't want it to be automatically sent by using the email. By having this solution, we are not interfering with that all the US libraries will, and, and Swedish libraries maybe also, is only using email. But we are, we will, for the purpose of the German library networks, here we need to be able to produce these printed output. Is this then assigned to a notice policy and set up via the CERC rules, or does is this just kind of a standalone template then? It is. Well, the, uh, the template is applied in the overdue find policy. Okay. The mod, uh, batch print module is also, uh, you can say, uh, interacting with mod sender and mod uh, notice. I think it is called. So it's the, there's four modules around 
all of this generating the patron notifications. So I'll open up one of the overdue find policies here. And there you apply the template, uh, the layout template. So it's in the overdue find policy. Cool. Uh, yeah, the reason why I was asking is because we, there is some circumstances where we actually do send print notices are there's some times we have to and it's like if a it 